Hey plant friends, welcome back to my channel, it's Maya here. So yes, I'm gonna point out the obvious, cause I like to point out the obvious before you guys point it out because you guys roast me when you do point things out, so one step ahead. <laughs> but yes, I did cr end up curling my hair today. I don't know, I don't, I don't know why I curled it. What better way to waste time than to curl your hair, right? To me, I look very mature. <laughs> I remind myself of a soccer mom. I feel like you can catch me riding down the streets in a van or maybe like a big SUV and you're thinking I would have kids, right? No, 10 dogs. <laughs> Essentially like a dog Uber, pretty much. Okay, we're getting off topic, sorry guys. In today's video, I thought we would go around my house and look for new growth on my plants. So during this winter, I did end up giving some of my plants a little bit of fertilizer when I watered it because they showed signs of growth and whenever I see signs of growth, I just feed it fertilizer. I'm like, you're shooting out new growth so you're gonna want more food. I do use a fish, is it a fish? It's a fish and kelp fertilizer. It stinks really bad. And I'm talking about my fertilizer for my soil. It stinks really bad. I'll link it down below if you like it, if you are interested in it. There's a ton of fertilizers out there. I just ordered this on Amazon. I'm like, sure, why not? It is organic or you can use the brand Espoma. I'll leave the links down below if you're interested. Okay, now that we have that out of the way, sorry guys, this is a long intro. Let's get into the video and I'll show you guys all my new growth. This is my original Hoya Linares, Hoya Linares, and look at my baby. She's so pretty. She did grow a few inches during the winter time, and then once spring started occurring, she started getting like all this new growth at the base of her stem. Here, let me grab her and I'll show you guys. So she started shooting out more new growth at the top because I did end up kind of trimming the ends of her stems and once you chop anything off at the ends it does promote new growth either along the stem or at the base of your plant and that's pretty much what happened with my plant like look how awkward all of that growth is i love it this is raffidophora tetrasperma yet another one i actually got this in a plant trade with my plant friend angela her Instagram is more Hoya, please. More Hoyas, please. But yeah, it's doing great. Angela, if you're watching, she's still alive. <laughs> and she's in my living room because she's special. Next is my philodendron micans. Look at her new growth. She's so pretty. Look at that new leaf. I like how it comes out like kind of copper like that. Um, I will be trimming her soon to promote more new growth at the top. Um, you guys saw my, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys would have, ah, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys would have seen this guy. It's my Hoya Polinura, or Hoya Fishtail. I got, I think, three months ago, and look how much she's grown. If you guys want to see how big she was to begin with, she is in one of my plant hauls, which I will link up above or down below. And she does have new growth currently popping out. She does have some peduncles along her stems, like right there. She, I believe, developed all these peduncles from being in my propagation box, which is really high humidity. Oh, oh my god, guys. This guy, my Dyskidia, or Dyskidia, however you want to pronounce it, has grown so much. I did recently give her a haircut, and her haircut is very bowl cut like <laughs> kind of reminds me of my and my older sister's haircut when we were younger like my dad would just cut it straight across and that's what I did with this <laughs> I was just getting tired of all of her old stems because they weren't growing at the tips so I chopped them all off and it did promote new growth at the top and you can see all of her long stems that are just flopping away it does have tiny growth that's growing like on the top mm -mm -mm. that guy's grown a lot but that's per usual my hoya rubra she's been shooting out a lot of new growth and i like how if you give her a lot of light her new growth comes out this really pretty pink color my favorite and in this little corner you guys aren't gonna really notice a lot but my Euphorbia Amac variegated did grow. Like all of this green part right here is new. Next on the docket is my Peperonia Beetle. 
she is shooting out so much new growth for me and her new growth is so cute like look how tiny that is she even has a tiny little stem that has a flower on it so peperomia flowers kind of looks like this rat tail type of thing and i don't like that so i might chop it off but she is growing a ton look how cute that is and i like the coloring when she first comes out it's kind of like a, a burnt color Mm -mm -mm. Ooh, Mahoya Weyeriai. Let me turn on some light so you guys can see. Alrighty then, my Hoya Weyeriai. I honestly didn't like him at first until I noticed that his new growth started coming out like this dark color once you give it a lot of light. And if you give it a lot of light, I've noticed that um, it develops like a dark border around the leaves, which I love. You can see all of these new stems that are just hanging out and all of these darker leaves are new growth i did fertilize this during the winter time as well because she kept growing for me very exciting news about my hoya kadada she is experienced new growth and i can't believe it because i read that this is such a slow grower very slow grower but when i first got her i did place her in a propagation box so the humidity probably helped promote this like new stem that's producing and she does it in a south facing window. Then the sky, he's my Hoya Abovata inward variegation I got from Thailand. A lot of people also thought this was dead, but no. <laughs> you guys should definitely follow me on Instagram because I do periodically like um, do stories or post about my plants that I've gotten in the mail. But this guy has shot out this new growth in the middle. Look how cute that is. And I'm excited that the variegation is still carrying on. I'm giving this bright light just in case it decides to want to revert back to the original. How can I forget about my Hoya DS70? At first I didn't like this and then I found out that if you give lots of sunlight, the new growth will come out like this really pretty dark color. And um, if you give this a lot of light, this does, I believe, create like a dark border around the leaves, which I freaking love. But the new growth in this has been coming out really sun stress looking, which I love. Look at that. That's all new. Let me turn it around and show you guys. Ooh, look at this. You see how there's like a dark margin around there. And then this is all new right here. Very, ooh, look. Ooh, look at that. And then... This guy, I think, is adorable. Okay, guys, I don't know where to start, so we'll just start over here. We'll start with this plant. Oh, by the way, yes, this is a shoebox that I have here so that these plants can get more sun. So, <laughs> life hack, just use what you have around the house. It's my dumb cane camouflage, or Diefenbachia camouflage. He almost died when I placed him in Lucca, had to reroot him in water, placed him back into Lucca, and wabam. Here she is, he, she, whatever he, she likes to be. But this is all the new growth since placing her back into Lekka. So these are the two that are trying to unfurl and then there are new growth that's popping in the middle right there. And there's this one. How excited are you guys for me? This almost died. Well, not, om yeah, it almost died. And then we have this tiny one that's about to come out too on this single leaf. Here's my Sansevieria whale's fin. This is, I have three of them total. And this one's the standalone one. And look how big this guy is. I'm surprised that this even shot out new growth because honestly, this doesn't get as much light as it should. My Monstera Anansonii. This guy has been shooting out new growth all freaking winter for me i do give her a fertilizer any plants that are showing new growth i give it fertilizer even during the winter time look at that sprouting and she just is getting way too tall i place bamboo stakes in here so that she can climb upward that's why in my video it looks like my plant is climbing up the wall but it's actually just like these bamboo sticks it's outgrowing it as you can see Ooh, here's a good one. My Raphidophra tetrasperma that I got from Thailand. Remember how bad looking she looked? Well, she has grown quite a bit. Like, look at that. I freaking love her so much. I did move her here because she's outgrowing her other space. Here's my Raphidophra tetrasperma tissue culture. 
And as you can see, the leaves, there is like a difference where this is more narrow and the one from Thailand is a lot more wider. And yeah, I did end up cutting her during the winter time right here. And then this is all new growth up there. I recently chopped that off and that's new growth. And that was more like a balls. Oh, you guys, this is my uh, cactus fern. Fern leaf cactus. There we go. Takes me a while. This I got at Cactus and Tropicals during Thanksgiving break. We drove to Utah and this traveled with me the whole time. So I'm surprised it's even like alive. I like how the new growth is kind of like tinted with yellow on the edges. Like a yellow orange. I think that's because I'm giving her a lot of light. And then this guy is growing right there. And she is in Lekka. And then this kind of semi-dark corner is my philodendron congo but for a long time it did not unfurl anything all the leaves are just like this and then last week <laughs> i did something that i should not have done which i mean we all know this right i kind of helped loosen this leaf because it was like really tightly wound so i kind of just ooh, ooh, like that and <laughs> i don't know what that noise was but i loosened it up and then the next two days this popped out sure it's not the prettiest looking thing but hey it's the first new growth that i've gotten on this thing since getting it so i'll take it Ooh, my zz raven this guy has shot out a lot i did move him into leka and he's just shooting so much stuff out like these two stalks are new you can tell because it first comes out this really bright green and then it fades to the black there's a tiny guy there next to that is oh this philodendron warwitz swirl all i can't pronounce it it's like a tricky one i'll leave it on the screen got this at green lady gardens and for a long time i thought this thing only could grow two leaves at one time <laughs> because whenever a leaf would pop out like one the oldest leaf would turn yellow and die and i didn't really freak out about that but i just thought hey is this a two leaf plant type of thing but this guy popped up which is really exciting the only thing is this doesn't look like the original one original leaf like this is what i'm looking for and this guy is a bit more thick looking so we'll monitor that and see how that goes but this is a semi new leaf and then it has a new little guy right there my philodendron painted lady she has come such a long way this is her new leaves i just love her new growth so much i want to give her more light so that more of this yellow can come out but then her leaves fade into like this color i might call me crazy i might chop the top of this off so that it promotes more growth along the stem so maybe she can like grow a second stem out so then there would be more than one new growth coming out at once if that makes sense Alrighty then let's move on oh this is my rick rack cactus look at all the new growth i love how the new growth on this is kind of like the cactus fern fern leaf cactus where the new growth kind of comes out like this yellow shade it's just so pretty and then i think this is the cutest when it's not fully grown yet like this is a fully grown leaf and then this is about to mature it's just so cute it's so tiny but not tiny here are my two uh, skin daptis tribui the one that i got from green lady gardens and uh i think a lot of people thought that these were dead <laughs> this is skin daptis tribui moonlight i believe it's called the leaves here i had to chop off because i gave it too much sun so it was like getting crispy and burning at first i thought it was the water that was causing it but then i fixed the water for about a month and it still was getting crispy ends then i just moved it a lot further from the light and since doing that the new growth has come out with no problems at all and look how perfect and rounded the leaves are it's so pretty and heart shape and there's new growth coming out again oh i just love this so much this was originally supposed to be for my older sister but you guys saw what she looked like at the beginning there was no way i was going to give it to her and then my beautiful skimdaptis tribui black oh this guy was a reason why i wanted to go to the exotic plant sale because you guys know i love black things i black is my favorite color it's hard to tell now because i'm like converting to white pots but black is my true love and if i can get anything with 
black foliage yes please for a long time seriously thought he was dead all of his leaves are pretty much looking like this because like i said i was giving him too much sunlight i'm gonna chop him off but since when i'm in lucky i'm pulling him away like look at that new leaf like how shiny and pretty and black Ooh. so this is a new leaf that's about to unfurl so it starts off kind of like a zz raven this kind of bright green and then it fades into this black and then this is a new leaf oh look how shiny that is that's so pretty that looks like it's ultra shine ultra feast <laughs> <laughs> if anyone knows where Ultra Feast is from, comment down below. You guys are my best friend if you guys know. So this is my Hoya Macrophylla Variegated that I got from Cactus and Tropicals. The same time that I got my Cactus Leaf Fern. Now look at all this new growth. Like I think it's so cute that her new growth kind of comes in like this pink color. Like that. And then it fades into this. Like, oh, look how pretty that is. The outer edges, ooh, it's so bright. Sorry, guys. The lighting is really weird. It snowed yesterday. And then you can see that there are new growth points that are occurring. Next, we have a plant that literally came back from death. She's alive. She's in Lucka. And look at her new growth. This is new. You can tell new growth on the silver satin because it's a lighter green color. And then once it gets more mature, the leaves start getting thicker and it's like this dark green. This one's about to pop open. I'm really excited. This is my Snow Queen Pothos. She previously was dying in Lekka, placed her in a water propagation, and placed her back into Lekka. And since doing that, she has grown so much. I love how her new growth kind of comes out like yellow color. That's like yellow variegation. It kind of reminds me of like a jelly belly jelly bean. Oh. oh, you guys, my butt rock, my butt rock, you guys. Everyone thinks I'm so weird for liking these butt rocks, but how can you not like these? They look so freaking weird. This is one of my butt rocks. She's doing perfectly fine. You can see her new leaves are producing. She's growing. At this stage, for those who are new to lithops, you don't water your lithops when this is occurring because the newer leaves are sucking all the water and nutrients out of the outer leaves. Here's my Hoya Serpent. Oh my god! I just noticed she has two juicy peduncles. Oh my god, you guys. Thank goodness I did this video because I would have not noticed that. But she has grown quite a bit, as you guys can see. They're so tiny. How can you even see them? Two peduncles. Oh, so cute. And then she has this big one here. Holy crap, there's another one here. Oh my god, you guys, is this going to freaking bloom for me? Here's the star of the show. This guy gets so much attention. And I honestly didn't realize that so many of you guys went out and got this plant after I showed you guys what it what mine looked like after like however months I've had it. It's a special looking one. Um, last time I think I showed you guys it was right here and then all of this is new growth. All the new babies started growing larger. I did take out two tiny babies to propagate for my little sister. But you guys the cool thing about this is she is starting to grow new growth in between her leaves. So Where's the other one? Oh, right here. See how there's like that growth point right there? That's going to grow out to be another branch. This is a very special plant of mine. I don't think I really show you guys this plant on my channel. My, my significant other bid on this at the Green Lady Gardens exotic plant sale. I think we paid like $65 for this. It barely grew when I got it and it didn't start growing until I placed it into Lekka. And this is one of the newer leaves. Like, how cool looking is that? It's legit, like, half and half. Ugh, I love this plant. This is called a Philodendron White Wizard, so obviously I love this plant. For all of you Lord of the Rings fans out there, I'm sure you guys like this too, just based on the name. Here's another very exciting plant that I thought I was going to kill, and I'm pretty sure you guys did too. This is my Philonopsis Orchid that I got on clearance. I think I got it for, like, $5.00 had it in whatever medium then i transferred it to bark didn't do well then i transferred it into lucca and look at all those roots i am so freaking excited because if you guys been with my channel since the beginning you guys know i've killed every single orchid that i've gotten and this guy is still alive and he's growing a new leaf right there how exciting is that i'm so excited We're now near my hanging rack and holy cannoli my freaking philodendron tahiti has 
gone crazy. <laughs> she's seriously outgrowing this and I have to start taking clippings so that she can still fit in this space. So let me know if you guys would like to buy clippings from this. Look at how cute this new leaf is. So here's her other side, as equally large as the other side. So I do rotate this plant so that it uh, both sides equally gets enough light, but let me back up and just show you guys. Here's my philodendron by Penifolium. I think it was sold to me as a philodendron penitum. Uh, anything that's above this pole right here is new growth. And she's sprouting more leaves right there because it's gonna make this thicker. And look, she has a little node that's growing a leaf right there. That guy's growing a leaf. And this honestly doesn't get as much lighting. She does sit right next to an east-facing window. But look at that guy. Yeah, guys, uh, that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions, please leave it down below. And I'll definitely see you in my next video. Bye, guys.